Veterans Day is around the corner and we're highlighting veteran-owned businesses and looking at the challenges of starting a company after serving and how they're supporting other veterans trying to assimilate back into everyday life. Joining us now is Zach Houston, CEO and president of Pillars of Valor, a coffee company based in Minnesota, and Steve Gagne, founder of 14th Star Brewing Company. So, Zach, let me start with you and just talk to me about the company. How'd you get this idea to start the company? Yeah, hey, thanks for having me. Um, Zach Husted, Pillars of Valor. Uh, I started the company, um, to be quite frank, I was, you know, one of the, I almost became one of the statistics that you hear about. Um, and this is one of the first times I'm publicly talking about it, but I almost came uh, uh, one of the one of the veterans that committed suicide. And um, I called one of my buddies, I sat down, uh, I paused and uh, I, I got lost. And out of that came a great conversation and uh, my buddy Caleb is is a guy that's in the coffee industry. And I said, Caleb, I'd like, how do we get more people to sit down and talk and uh, have that moment where they can um, connect with people? So um, my buddy Caleb, um, he's like, well, what do you want to do about it? And I said, I, you know, Caleb, I think God's calling me to say um, I should start a coffee company by, because of how this is coming about. And uh, Pillars of Valor was born um, b- born from that moment. And uh, I launched it last uh, November 11th on Veterans Day, and I give back 7% of all my top line revenue to a local veteran uh, company, or excuse me, a local, local veteran nonprofit organization. And uh, I'm pretty excited uh, um, about where it's going, the growth that it's had, and um, we can talk more about the challenges that we face, but that's kind of the impetus of, of how it started and uh, why Pillars of Valor is uh, what it is. Zach, when you talk about some of the challenges that you faced uh, prior to starting this, how much of that stemmed from the challenges in transitioning back to life back here, you know, after your deployment? Can you talk a bit about that and the the road that it took to to find what that next step would be or the next chapter would be for you? Yeah, so um, going through 12 years of the service, you know, I started when I was 17. Uh, I joined and went to basic training and uh, I... um, spent a significant portion of my life uh, being being in the service. And um, I, I left in 2009 when my daughter was a year and a half old. And I, I came home from from that deployment and, you know, she's two. And I spent a lot of time uh, away. And uh, now she, she's a she's a big part of my life, you know, and she's 15. And um, what what happens is you, you lose a, a big part of that fabric of your life, and it, it's a tough transition for people as they go from, you know, being this being part of this big ecosystem of of life into like how do you how do you um, mesh back into everyday world? And so you know, there's one day you're one day you're on the you're in you're in the you're in the zone of of, of this multi million dollar machine of of a cog of fighting a war, and then the next day you're at home with your family. So the buffer of uh, of like the old World War II stuff where you're getting on a ship and you're coming home and it's months and it's weeks, it's now days. And so uh, the challenges are tough. Um, the ability to make it so that um, people can transition back in, it's it's hard, it's real. And, you know, people think of veterans as the ones that were like old World War II Vietnam veterans. They're not. They're they're the guys you're going to hear from today, myself and, and, the, and the gentleman with the brewing company. And uh, it's a different face. It's a, it's a different generation. Hmm. And Steve, I want to turn to you now and just tell us more about 14th Star Brewing Company. Sure. Yeah, 14th Star started uh, as a daydream uh, in the mountains of eastern Afghanistan. My best friend and I uh, were stationed over there. It was our second combat tour together. And uh, when you're deployed, there's a couple things you think about, one of which is the day you can get out of the Army. Uh, and the other thing is uh, all you think about beer. And uh, we've been longtime homebrewers, and we wanted to think about what we were going to do after the army, and something that was going to happen, something that was going to matter to our community and to our fellow veterans. To Zach's point, uh, there are a lot of veterans who they don't hit the ground running, and uh, and they can use some assistance. And so we set out to start the brewery, not just to create the world's greatest beer, which I think we've accomplished. But I'm biased. Um, but we set out to create a business that actually mattered and made a difference to better. And, uh, and in that respect, I think we also succeeded. And Steve, what are some of the lessons that, that you learned during your time in the Army that you've been able to apply to your current business? Yeah, I, so I currently teach business uh, at the University of Vermont. That's my real job. I have a team here who is hmm. uh, 
essentially runs the business based on our guidance. Um, we have a fantastic team here. Um, but what we've learned in the service is uh, planning, leadership, establishing direction, establishing clear goals, developing your subordinates, um, and ensuring that they all understand what the, the final goal and the final purpose is. And once everyone is aligned with those goals, with the company's values, you can accomplish some really amazing things. And Zach, to turn to you, you know, I know giving back uh, to veterans is an important part of your business. You want to pay it forward. How, how do you do that at, at Pillars of Valor? Yeah, thanks. Great question. So um, what we do is we give back 7% of the top line of all of our revenue from from the packages of, of our coffee. I got a, a little bag here to show you. Um, it's uh, okay. We, we sell it uh, at retail, whole bean coffee, and that's the that's the engine that, that generates the give back. And uh, what we do is we give it to uh, currently to a, a local nonprofit. It's called Minnesota Military Appreciation Fund. And um, their whole purpose is to um, generate a, a mechanism to create grants for veterans who've served in combat since 9-11. And when I came home from Iraq, I was a recipient of that grant. And so I couldn't think of a better way or a better place to start the giving to make it come full circle um, than this organization. And um, so that's where that's where I donate my uh, my 7% uh, back to. As this thing scales, as this thing gets bigger, as the momentum grows, um, I have lots of different plans of what we can do with it and and help it grow so um you know it, it's it's a brand that people can stand behind it's it's a brand of unity it's a brand of uh, bringing people together and steve um looking at uh your brewery your beer is distributed in nine states now as i understand it um, what's the grand right. vision for you where do you go from here uh, so the grand vision is to continue to make an impact on a larger and larger scale and uh, although the alcohol industry is uh condensing and getting smaller currently. Most companies would take this time to hunker down and play safe. And we're getting very aggressive in 2024. Um, you know, the British SAS say, who dares wins? And uh, and we're betting on uh, breakout success in 24. Zach, not to be outdone, I got a product shot right here, buddy. Yeah, man, yours is, <laughs> yours is fantastic. Good for you. I'd have one with you if I was with you. <laughs> Zach Houston and Steve Gagne. Guys, thank you so much for joining us for your time and thank you both for your service. Thank you for having us. Thanks, I appreciate it. They're turning the lights out on me. <laughs>